Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does... Turn me loose! Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Notice how a bunch of stuff's happening you never thought would happen. Obamacare, 21 taxes, seven of them on people under the poverty line, payroll taxes, you name it, medical device taxes on little kids' prosthesis, artificial legs, arms, you name it. And it starts stalling the economy since it went into partial implementation. That's planned. I mean, look, let me tell you something. If I wanted to shut a country down, I'd shut down its power plants. I mean, this is not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. If you study geopolitical systems and history and you look at what's going on, it gives you the big chill. I thought I have a segment called the big chill. Because I keep saying I'm getting chills. And I mean, I'm getting chills all the time. And I grew up in Dallas, and the few times I'd gotten mugged or whatever, I'd get a chill right before it happened. And I don't need a sixth sense, ladies and gentlemen, to know we're in grave danger. I don't need Robbie the Robot to say, danger, danger, Will Robinson. Danger approaching from the south, the north, the east, the west. You can see it. And I was just telling uh, Nico and uh, CJ out there during the break, The fact that they'd pass Obamacare, the fact that they would do this to power plants, the fact that they would put our military under NATO command and Congress would do nothing, the fact that they would spend tens of billions in fake energy companies and just give it to their friends. I mean, it, there's never been corruption like this that I've seen. And basically, I watched the looting of Mexico in the 80s with Salinas and others, and he was allowed to run to the U.S. with billions of stolen dollars after he devalued the Mexican peso. And I watched how he was run out of the United States, you know, up into the 90s. I watched it with several Mexican presidents. And then I studied the IMF World Bank, John Perkins, economic hitman, others. And the globalists said back in 2002 when Stiglitz leaked that memo, I mean, he claims he didn't, when Stiglitz quit as the head economist of the World Bank and the memos came out, and Greg Pallas released it here, that Europe and the United States, Canada, New Zealand, Australia were next. <sighs> And the Australians, to their credit, got pulled far down the rat hole by this. They're starting to claw back. So that gives us some hope. Will we claw back from it and start voting down carbon taxes? Start controlling our borders? Start repealing all the dr draconian anti-liberty laws? But I'm telling you, the fact that the New World Order would open the border up and ship the illegals in and try to keep that secret... And then let me tell you, it freaks me out even worse when guess who time after time continues to blow holes in their operation? Infowars.com. And believe me, that's not fun. Because I know what it means to be sneaking around in Smog's lair. And DrudgeReport.com continues to take our articles. It isn't about being popular or being well-known at this point. It's about literally in an information war. And I know how serious and dangerous it is to have the White House run groups, MSNBC, Media Matters, attacking me every week, every day in some cases. And Drudge knows that too, folks. And I look at all the other mainline conservative talk shows. They're starting to go there, but not, not really because they're scared. They're scared. And, and we need more people, ladies and gentlemen, to start telling the truth to beat this, but also so they don't come after me. And I'm ready for them to come after me. I, I, I'm not afraid of that. I'm afraid of failure. I'm afraid of letting evil continually win over and over and over again. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. I, I'm the only person I know who's consistently said for the last few years the false flag may be opening the border up. Because that was in Pentagon plans that were shot down by Reagan. But it was produced by his people wanting to bring in total control bipartisan. Rex 84. Look it up. It's in the Miami Herald. I've got it in my films. Police State film. Police State 2000.
And I'm the only one saying they would let Al-Qaeda come in to attack us again and form a new Al-Qaeda army in the Middle East. That's what ISIS now is. And they're now saying that. And I'm the only one that told you they would do an economic implosion to bring in martial law. And that they'd set off a nuke. Oh, yeah, a nuke. Think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. So this is how America dies. Globalist treachery. Treason. And it's only the beginning. If they get away with it. This is an emergency transmission worldwide. Radio. We play the songs that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Give me some more. Give me some more. Some more truth. Monday yeah. through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. It's not talk radio. It's survival. It's not talk radio. It's resistance. It's not talk radio. It's freedom. It's blood pumping. It's red, white, and blue, 1776, worldwide. And I am your host, Alex Jones. We have Kit Daniels, who is facing prison. Our reporter, feds threaten journalists with prison of a report on illegal immigration. Infowars.com, we have the official letter, the phone numbers. You'd think the whore media, since Drudge picked this up uh, last Friday would have uh, picked this up, but it, it took them three weeks to pick up that we broke that Obama has the Border Patrol in black buses for DHS ship the illegals in. The protest in Texas and California, you see, of folks blocking the DHS buses. How do people know about that? Infowars.com, DrudgeReport.com. And I'm not tooting our horn. We're right up front on point in maximum overdrive going right into the front of this, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not going to get into the dirty tricks that go on, the stuff that gets pulled. I love it because I've told the story of my grandfathers. One of them was a fighter pilot in World War II, the other a B-17 pilot. And it was a famous World War II saying, you fly into the flak to find the target. Or if you're a fighter protecting uh, bombers, you fly into the flak to protect the bombers. And so I'm, I'm steered into the flak. I expect the flak. I mean, don't take, don't take my victory away from me any way we cut it. I'm not a coward. I know what I'm flying into. The point is, do you out there know how serious things are? Do you out there realize how real this is? The federal government is no more. It is completely bankrupt and run by offshore criminal interests that want a giant, poor North American union with all these poor, desperate people from Latin America where the globalists have already imploded their countries and blamed it on the USA. So they hate the US on average, but love the Democrats and will vote to take our guns almost to a man. This is the reality. And again, last week I had a top UC professor, he's all over national television, Daryl Hamamoto, expert political scientist, the head 
of Asian American Studies at the University of California at UC Davis saying this is a giant social engineering operation. And by the way, he's got a Rockefeller Foundation accredited. That's where he was basically funded and trained for his PhDs and the rest of it. Just like Francis Boyle, who was trained at the high-level Harvard secret PhD, the same one Kissinger and Brzezinski were given. And he's coming out saying this is exactly what it is. I care about every man, woman, and child in this country. I don't care what color you are and where you are worldwide. I can't go to the third world and see poor, destitute people in the homeless children. It's too painful. But merging with all of that will bring us down, not bring us up. And that's the globalist plan. And that's why I'm firmly against it. We're about to go to Kit Daniels, Infowars.com reporter. But first, a quote by the statesman, philosopher, historian, Marcus Cicero. Attributed to a speech uh, in the Roman Senate on the floor that was uh, then put out in public proclamations. A nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious. When you study things, that's so true. We can survive our fools and even our, the ambitious. Because you can be taught by fools and by sages, to quote Aerosmith. A na back to Cicero. A nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious, but it cannot survive treason from within. An enemy at the gates is less formidable, for he is known and carries his banner openly. But the traitor moves amongst those within the gate freely. His sly whispers rustling through all the alleys, heard in the very halls of government itself. For the traitor appears not a traitor. He speaks in accents familiar to his victims, and he wears their face and their arguments. He appeals to the baseness that lies deep in the hearts of all men. He rots the soul of a nation. He works secretly and unknown in the night to undermine the pillars of the city. He infects the body politic so that it can no longer resist. A murderer is less to fear. The traitor is the plague. And ladies and gentlemen, you ever wondered how America would fall? You'll never even know it falls as third world populations are all around you. I, I go down to the hike and bike trail all the time with my children. And I go to an area that nobody's at. And I went down to it and it literally, literally, and I was, I just, I wanted to, I, I, I didn't even dislike them. I felt sad even surveilling them. But all up and down it were Guatemalans fishing with strings they'd found and cans and they had backpacks. And I did shoot some video, but I just, it's so painful with their little desperate children. I felt sorry for them. The globalists are manipulating my own humanity. But I'm going to dispatch my reporters next week down there. There are groups of Guatemalans. I went up and talked to them. And I saw their Mayan uh, backpacks. And they didn't speak English, but I said, Guatemala? And they said, yes, yes, Guatemala. Folks, we have literal homeless Guatemala on the bike trail now. Down off of, uh, <laughs> I just can't believe, down off the hill of life. I mean, I mean, folks, this country is being imploded right now. That's all I can tell you. How long till we got a break here? Uh, we're we're going to hold Kit into the next segment. Uh, here's the headline. Feds threaten journalists with prison over report on illegal immigration. I've been following the amazing coverage at DrudgeReport.com uh, of, of just the complete collapse of this country. And then we have the full letter with the uh, one-star general that issued it saying that uh, you will be, if he ever enters any bases or the jurisdiction of the United States, uh, that he will face six months in jail, and then it goes into the whole fine just to begin with. He shall be fined not more than 5000 or in prison, not more than six months or both, by 18 U.S.C. 3571-B6. And this was sent to our uh, unlisted address here uh, and, and to our listed address. Uh, and, and this is what he gets for going in saying, I'm here as a reporter, goes through the open base, and then he shows the illegals in mass uh, there. Uh, so, Kit Daniels, I know you're out in uh, Lampasas near Fort Hood, spending uh, the, the tail end of the 4th of July weekend uh, with your parents. Uh, but uh, in the land of the free home of the brave, I mean, Obama has arrested Tea Partiers and journalists like no other president and uh, audited and shut down pro-life groups and has an enemies list that would make Nixon blush. And they're now saying they want to shut down Internet freedom. So I guess you ought to be proud of this letter. I know Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, who went with you, he's very upset combat 
vet hero in his own right. He's very upset uh, over the fact that he, he wasn't sent a letter as well. This is a badge of honor. Yeah, absolutely. This is this letter shows you that you are 